So basically I'm just trying to work out how much way I can get into those um, sections on the armature and um, get as much in as I possibly can really um, because this wire is aluminium which is really good for animation because you get like a nice when it bends it doesn't sort of spring back it stays where it's put however as you bend it it sort of work hardens so eventually that will just break off snap um, so people tend to sort of mix up aluminium wire and then they might put some sort of copper wire this is cotton covered copper wire they might mix a little bit of that in because that it'll will spring back, and really it's just working out how much wire I can get in. One mil aluminium wire, but then another 0.7 mil aluminium wire, and even less then, you know, sort of right down to like 0 0.9, 0 0.56 mil there. So we've got some really thin strands of wire, which, you know, you can sort of put in a couple of beefy pieces and then pack it out with some thinner pieces. Um, just get as much as you can in. What I'll do, I'll cut a few lengths here now and then I'll twist it up for you and you can see the process. So, with the wire in place, because it's a bit coily, it's going to just give them a little, a little pull, sort of straighten them out. And then that'll help them twist together a little bit neater. I mean, anybody who's got any sort of interest in animation, like if you're a student or something, you'd be pretty familiar with twisting up wires. <laughs> so those have been sort of straightened out, so they're a little bit, a little bit less kind of, a little bit more kink free than they were which is good because again any sort of kinks will encourage the wire to move at that point and it will just break quicker. So I'm just going to give them a little twist together so they clamp in here. Like so. And then with the drill and the handy little hook, and everyone's got their own way of doing this. Some people sort of will clamp the wire in the drill chuck. I'm just going to twist that around like so. And then we just the drill slowly and get a bit of a twist. And that's not too bad actually. You don't want to twist it too much because again you're sort of stressing the wire. You just want it to hold together. And then at that stage you can sort of see it looks a little bit lumpy here and there. And that's what I was saying about um, when you've got more strands of wire. Ideally, see that there, that looks quite nice and neat. And then you get into the lumpiness. But that's not too bad. And then we'll see if this is sufficient enough. So I'm just going to trim off this horrible end. Yeah. And then that's not too bad. That goes in there. We've got to bear in mind we need to get a little bit of glue in there as well. So I might just go with that.